can't be beaten off in your car, baby. It's a workplace. Thank you. Whoa! It was in his head? <laughs> Welcome back, as today we start a new series, Ozark. What I do know about this series, it stars Jason Bateman, and apparently Breaking Bad enthusiasts have been using this show to get their fix since that show went off the air. So maybe we're gonna get a similar good guy turning to the criminal underworld because of a desperate situation type of thing. That's what I'm expecting. Or maybe it's just a good show. So let's get into this before we begin. I do want to remind you that you can get early access to my YouTube edit on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe or leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. It really helps my channel reach a wider audience and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But now, it's time for the show. Let's go. 25% have no savings at all. And only 15% of the population is on track to fund even one year of retirement. Dude, what the fuck? Is that all true? That's some bullshit, man. Money is that measure of a man's choices. You know, we're really just getting started looking at uh, interviewing financial advisors. That was all a, a pitch to get clients. I thought that was for us. That was fucking good. That made me really think about what the fuck I'm doing financially with my life. Cool to uh, recoup your money when it comes time to sell. Uh, they're poor. Artie, right, we gotta be in the city of four. All right, that was weird. What the fuck? We're about to stop taking on new clients. 5,000 would still open an account here today. Mm. Check. Great. That sense of exclusivity, man. It helps when you're trying to sell your business. How is it we make the same bank and yet I can see my place in Trump Tower from here and you're driving a 10 year old Camry with cloth fucking seats. Nothing wrong with that Camry. As we saw from the picture, he has a wife and two kids. I'm sure this guy's single, not even married yet. That's why you got more money, bro. Lake of the Ozarks? Yeah, yeah, Lake of the Ozarks. Southern Missouri, the Redneck Riviera, baby. <laughs> Thought I was gonna hate the place, got there. Almost pissed myself. Lake of the Ozark. Okay, so Ozark is a lake. I'm trying to help you, retard. Hey. He's a retard. We hey. don't use that word. You Stop know it. That? You can wear your Minecraft t-shirt and take your spear. Oh, screw you. Well. Stop it. <laughs> Typical American family shit. There's a fundraiser for Hannah. She has psoriasis. It's a disease, Dad. Like, cancer, okay? It's a cheese can, honey. I understand if money's tight and you don't have $10 to give, but damn, you don't have to shit on psoriasis like that. Comparing it to cancer is pretty silly, though. You want the History Channel? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm watching something else. I'm tired. It is his wife! Why is he watching this shit? Even though you pay a shit pot full of state taxes, who's never missed a mortgage payment? Marty Bird. All this shit is turning him on. The money talk, not even the sex shit. Not only would I not cheat on you, I'd let you do anything. Don't come too fast. She is a super professional. She figured him out instantly, knew exactly what to say. Hey, you can't be beaten off in your car, baby. It's a workplace. Thank you. Whoa. That's why she said all the right things. It was in his head. Oh my God. Whatever money you're missing, I'm sure there's a no. perfectly good no, explanation. No, no. Stole. Marty Bird can make a hundred million in dirty money disappear like spit on a hot skillet. This shit is a front? Carlotta was a proud woman. Not too proud to steal, but she had four kids. Said so she needed the money to buy medicine so her boy could breathe. What the fuck is the point of this story? Oh, I think this is a tactic where you ask somebody what they would do in a situation when you suspect them of doing it. I mean, people steal. I get it. We've been laundering money for Mr. Navarre for 10 years. That's right. Holy shit, so he is in on the laundering. What the fuck? But my dad had nothing to do with this. It was Bruce's idea. Shut the, shut the fuck up. Just came to me. Holy shit. Well, we found out who it was, and this poor chick got murdered. You know what I dislike about Chicago? All the fucking Mexicans, drug hub of the U.S., ATF, FBI. You don't fuck with the cartel, man. You don't fuck with the cartel. You don't need a movie or TV show to tell you that. Just look at the real life news. You read the gas gauges. How much, Bush? Eight million over three years. Greedy motherfuckers, yo. You could've took probably a couple thousand, even hundred thousand, no one would've known. It would not have gotten back to you. Even that's crazy, but eight million over three years? Greedy bitches. More shoreline than the whole coast of California. Excuse me. Every summer, blue collar, white collar, 
loaded with cash. Is this dude really about to save his life by selling the Ozark as a new place to get his money in or some shit? Or to sell? 85% is getting shipped across the border into Mexico. And how much of that's getting seized? You know, bribed the border patrol guys and the, and, the, and the cops and the politicians and the judges. He's actually making a very good point. This shit makes a lot of sense. Rich environment, away from everyone, away from all the government agencies, more shoreline than the coast. Five years, $500 million. I can do that. It's got more, more shoreline than the whole coast. You said California. that already. Five years, $500 million. He's promising him half a billion in five years. 500 million in five years. You have 48 hours to get me my money. Cash. Cash. 10 million in cash? What the fuck? I want you to be ready to set up shop within a week. There better be a for sale sign on your lawn. Holy shit, that definitely was a little Walter White type moment, talking himself out of being killed and promising his killer money and a chance to expand their operation, that he actually has more value alive than dead. <laughs> With the cartel at that. Send Liz to the police. Missing, they'll, they'll find out he's Liz dead. Liz is and then you dead, can... Wendy. She's dissolving in a barrel next to the one they stuffed Bruce into. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. She definitely is. There seems to be a disconnect. These would be large wire transfers. $8 million in four separate accounts at your bank. Unless you're the vice president of the one institution that is exempt. This dude knows what the fuck he's talking about. Call to the Federal Reserve at 230 South LaSalle and you order yourself up a shit pot full of cash. As much as Walter White knows about chemistry, this guy seems to know about finances and banking. His name's Gary Silverberg. He sees your wife at least twice a week, sometimes more. Oh man, this is the private investigator that caught his wife cheating. I forgot all about that shit with everything else that went on. I completely forgot his wife was unfaithful and he knows. Sugarwood's her pet name for her. As in, I got it. Some of that sugar I got it. Name. Thank you. Well, where is Marty? No. <laughs> New IDs, social security numbers, credit cards, you could do it. Then your money would run out. One of your kids like an online sloppy Twitter, Instagram. Damn, so going on the lamb and going into hiding is not an option. I'm sure it would work, but not when you're hiding from the cartel. They're going to be actively looking for you every day, even on the internet. Silverberg lives in the Aqua Tower, apartment 8003, 80th floor. What makes you think she's there? It's Thursday. Hold on. I was assuming that guy she was speaking to was her father or something. Was that the guy she was actually sleeping with? Hey, Gary, I'm back. What the fuck? I worked. Went to bed, got up, did it all over again. You want a divorce? I will show you the meaning of ugly. I will dig in. Oh shit! Why the fuck did they throw him off the ledge? What the fuck is going on? What kind of man isn't willing to lie to save his wife's life? Before or after you found out she was fucking the lawyer? After. Ouch. Ooh. Damn. Things turn ugly. She holds what you've done over your head. Live with the cheating. The cartel's willing to kill his wife for him? To please everyone involved? You never answered my question. What should my father do about a woman who steals from him? Fire her. Why? It's not the first time she stole from you. First time she got caught. It's the first time you caught her. I mean, I hope he didn't kill her, though. All she did was cheat, man. That don't, that, that's not warrant enough to kill somebody. I'm sure he's going to forgive her. You're welcome. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Not that he's involved with all the drug running stuff. That he kind of brought on himself, but he really does seem like he cares about his family and just wants the best for them and works hard for them. And if I want to put all seven million into a hot tub and play Scrooge McDuck, that is 100% my business. Now, where's my money? Holy fuck. The Great Depression. That's when the Lake of the Ozarks was built. Did you know all that? There's no way that's how much $8 million looks. Even in hundreds, it just seems like it'd be bigger and more than that. Yeah, I'm short. 
six thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, but it is not. It's not a problem. What did I tell you? But I also have a minivan. Come on, bro. It's six grand. He got you to rest. Fuck off. Don't be a piece of shit. Now I want you to take my seven million and clean it. You'd lose another twenty five percent in taxes. I'm thinking this whole Ozark thing is complete and utter bullshit. That's true, man. That is true. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Maybe he can't pull this off and he just said anything to keep himself alive. You said, where's my $5 million? And Bruce and the Hanson kid took eight. Hmm. I didn't know they stole a damn thing. I've been working with you and Bruce for how long? You ever know him not to constantly run his mouth? This dude is really fucking smart. So he must have known that he was telling the truth the whole time, but he had to die just because he was a loose end. I'm, I'm sure he knew he wasn't involved with the skimming part of it. But if you could make me more money, hey, you're a loose end that can live a little bit longer, I guess. I'm sure the end game of all this is still to kill him eventually. It has to be. What a fucking pilot episode. This is loaded. They're not criminal geniuses. They're pathological liars on the path of least resistance. Liddell was no different. Wait, which one was Liddell? Is that the lawyer or his partner? Where is Martin Bird? Oh, so it was his partner. So that guy was a government informant. He was eventually going to rat and expose everyone, yet still skim the money off the top while he was doing it. So sorry. You want to look back. Is he apologizing to God? Who's he saying sorry to? His family? Probably his family having to uproot him and getting involved with the shit in the first place. Ozark, this is the place for him to just wash his money. It seemed like he was drug running when the episode opened up. Whatever it is, this is the place to make 500 mil in five years. Directed by Jason Bateman? Dude, what? That was a great pan out shot too from them standing there all the way to the sky. That was pretty fucking dope. What a way to end a pilot episode. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Ozark Season 1, Episode 1. What a fucking pilot. Super breaking bad vibes. We got a guy that loves his family and his wife almost to a fault. They both are extremely, extremely proficient. I'd say even advanced in their professions, the way Walter was with chemistry. Well, yeah, that's self-explanatory. And so far, Marty with finances and banking. The difference between this, though, is this guy's starting out in the criminal underworld. I mean, he's heavy major in with the cartel, and his wife is 100% complicit. She knows everything. Another similarity is, you know, Breaking Bad opened up with Walter. Um... I'm going to try not to spoil Breaking Bad when I do these recaps. Uh, there's just comparisons, so I'll, I'll keep it very light. I won't spoil anything, but literally the opening shot of Breaking Bad, a time jump, and I'm assuming that's what is happening here. They opened up with the drug running on the Lake Ozark, and they're explaining how it got to that point. So that's another similarity right there. This guy is a character, though, from the daydream about hookers who get turned on by frugality you know being smart with your money like that turns them on <laughs> it got him so aroused <laughs> we got a ton of executions episode one people were killed left and right i thought his partner was going to be a part of the show you know i didn't expect him to die in the first episode you know the seriousness the plot the characters almost everything the setting ozark it's all firmly established in episode one the show actually opens up with a look into his mind him explaining to the couple you know trying to get them to join their firm that's kind of how he sees the world and how he sees everything work and the way he talked to the feds and the bank when he wanted his money you know his gears are constantly going he values money so much he, he's smart he knows with money you can really get anything you can get yourself out of anything the promise of money is what saved his life and his wife's life. They were ready to kill her. They weren't going to kill the kids, but, you know, he wanted to know when the kids were going to be home so they wouldn't accidentally see their mother killed. How sweet of the cartel to at least take that into consideration. <laughs> I don't think Gus would. See, I'm already spoiling Breaking Bad shit. Sorry, guys. Sorry. And we got a young Matt Murdock from the Netflix Daredevil series in this. I did realize that was him, and I know he is phenomenal in dramas. 
he steals the scene every time there's a flashback in daredevil that gives me good hopes for what the series is capable of because i know the power he brings to a scene especially drama especially sadness great pilot episode I know this is a series that I just started out of nowhere, didn't really give you guys a heads up. I mean, I love Breaking Bad, I love Better Call Saul, and almost everyone says, oh yeah, this is this is a solid replacement. And there's still a season four and five, I think, coming. I don't know. I know there's a new season coming though, so I wanna catch myself up, get to see what all the hype is about. If anything stood out to you in this episode, or there was anything I might've missed, please tell me about it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching my reaction. All I ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also get early access to my YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. You guys are the best. We're basically family now. I know you know that. That's it for me. Until next time, spread peace and love. I'm out.